Okay guys, let's get into setting up our full house sail plane. In this video, we're gonna cover all of the basic setup as well as the mixing that you're going to need. We are going to do flight modes for our camber control, uh, butterfly, aileron differential, uh, and that should just about cover the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and, and go all the way through this now. First thing you need to do is jump into the menu, go into the model menu, and scroll down and select new model. We're going to be setting up a, the, the sailplane that you saw in the beginning, which is our top model Super Sport. So we're just going to call this Super uh, just to ease time. Once you have the name in, go ahead and select Arrow and move on. We're not going to give it an image, so we'll skip that. Uh, this is a full house wing, two flaps, two ailerons, and a normal tail. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. Two flaps, two ailerons, normal tail. We won't need anything down below, so we'll go to the next section. Uh, these are all of the basic controls that show up in the presets, exactly how we want them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set our flap control uh, to our P5 switch and that is done as well so moving on all of our servo selection looks correct we can go ahead and move through create and activate model we're going to tell it yes and we're going to go into our servo setup menu which is the next thing servo setup is where you'll set all of your endpoints sub trims do any tuning as far as matching servos which in this type of airplane you won't need to do uh, so if you for instance, we'll move to, uh, let's see, aileron one. And let's say aileron one needs 26 points of sub trim. You would dial that in in this menu. Um, without the airplane in front of you, it's a little tougher. But if you were setting up the airplane, you would do this. Once you had all the servos plugged in, everything bound and programmed, you'd be able to go ahead and make these adjustments and see them physically on the airplane. So now that we've done our sub trim, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, normally this is where you would pair some receivers. We're not going to be doing that today. So we'll go ahead and click no. We'll jump back into the main menu and let's go ahead and go through setting up some of the things which are going to be critical in a full house sailplane. The way that we like to do camber control is by using our flight modes. We'll go into fine tuning, click on flight modes, and we're going to create three new flight modes. And we're going to go back through and give those each names. Uh, we're going to name those speed, cruise, and thermal. Of course, you can name those anything you want to, uh, but that is how we set them up here. So, pardon my misspelling. We'll go ahead and click speed. Go down to the next entry. We're going to go ahead and call that one cruise. And then, of course, the last one that we're going to do, we're going to call that one thermal. And like I say, it doesn't really matter what you name them, so long as you name something that you recognize and are able to go back to them if you need to. Once you have those created, you're going to want to select a three-position switch. In this case, we're going to use the SA switch which is uh, on top of the radio towards the front. So we're going to go ahead and go back up to our top line. We're going to click on switch. We're going to move it to the position that we'd like it to be in. Once we've done that, you can click OK, hit Escape, go down to the next line, set that position. You'll do that for all three of these flight modes and beyond if you have more flight modes that you're setting up. So now we'll check that the switch gives us a check mark in each of our desired locations, which it does. Once we've done that, we can move on. Uh, the way that I like to do my camera settings is by using flight mode trim. Flight mode trim enables you to go in and set specific control functions as uh, S or separate so that you can control those or, or select those independently for each flight mode. 
We're going to go ahead and change flaps also. And what we're going to do is in our speed, we're going to go ahead and reflex our controls a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add, say, 5 negative five percent which would actually raise it up in this particular airplane you notice when you flip to the next mode it goes back to zero so we're going to go ahead and dial that control in now uh, we'll give it 10 and in my thermal we'll give it 25 these are just odd rough percentages you're going to want to use the airplane in front of you to dial this in if your servos are reversed these directions are going to be different uh, in our case, our aileron servos are reversed, so that's why we're going to be entering a positive percentage for aileron and for flap, which is also reversed. So once you've got your aileron dialed in, choose your percentage you want to do. We're going to do 25, and we're going to go down and, and match our flaps up. So we're going to go ahead and put 25 for flap. Move to the next position. We're going to go ahead and give it 10 to match our ailerons. And once we've moved into our speed position, we'll go ahead and on this airplane we can't reflex those, so we'll leave that at zero. And now if you flip through the switch, you'll notice it gives you the three positions and three different values for those controls under each flight mode. You'll also notice that the flight mode labels appear at the top of the screen. You can also set a voice output to match each of those so you would know when you were flipping between them. So once your camber settings are set up through flight modes, you can move on to the next thing, uh, which for our purposes here, we're going to go ahead and escape out. We're going to go down to our aileron differential. And just as an example, we want, we want to run differential all the time, so we won't set a control or an adjustment. And we will just give a value to our up ailerons. And we'll give a value to our down ailerons of, say, 60. And now, again, these are just percentages that we're using. As an example, you'll want to dial these in on the aircraft that you're flying. Once you've got your aileron differential in, you can go ahead and click OK. It'll take you back to the menu. And we're going to go ahead and set up our butterfly. For our butterfly, we do want to set that up on a control switch. And I think in this situation, I would like to go ahead and use our SC switch, which is the top back of the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on control. Click it again to get select input control, and I'm going to go ahead and throw that switch. Um, I think that I want that switch towards me for on, so I'm going to reverse it so I get the condition that I want. Once I've got that, I can click OK. We're going to go ahead and give it a small amount of offset, as well as adding in a delay. The delay affects how quickly the, the, uh, the surfaces move once you've activated that butterfly. Uh, go into aileron and flap adjustment. This is where we actually give it the values that we want. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and give, because we know our ailerons, aileron is going to go a negative value. So we'll go ahead and give it 60%. Because our servos are reversed, we know we're moving in the right direction and for our flaps we're going to go ahead and dial that in for this, a positive direction because they are also reversed we want them to move down so we're going to go go ahead and give those 75 percent now when you activate your butterfly your ailerons will go up your flaps will go down uh, if you have that backwards just change from a positive to to a negative percentage in the adjustment and that will change the direction that that's traveling uh, we're not going to put any elevator adjustment in to start with until we realize in the air what it actually needs. So we'll go into ele elevator adjustment just so you can see the screen. Here is where you would give it a percentage that the elevator would uh, correct for any ballooning or pitching. So we'll jump out of that menu. We've got our butterfly set up. You can go ahead and look at the monitor 
throw that switch and actually see those controls moving to what you want. You can also see your camber adjustments working as well. Go ahead and jump all the way back to the main menu or to the fine tuning menu and then we'll get ready to do some free mixes. So there are a couple of mixes that we're going to want to do for this airplane, things that I fly on this specific airplane. Uh, one of those is going to be a flap to elevator mix. Uh, the other is actually going to be a snap flap, snap flap mix or a, an elevator to flap mix. Uh, so we'll jump into free mixes. We're going to click add to create our first mix. And we'll go ahead and do that flap to elevator mix. So we're going to go down and choose flap from flap to elevator. We're going to give that a 10% value. Uh, we're going to want this mix active all the time, so we won't need to do much with it. But I will go into the advanced just to give you an idea. In the advanced menu for free mixing, uh, you can assign a switch to turn that mix on and off. If this was a unique mix um, that you only wanted on occasion, you could assign that a switch. Uh, you would do that by selecting the primary line, moving to switch, selecting switch, and moving one of the switches that you wanted to assign to that mix. Uh, we're not going to do that because we want the mix active all the time, so we're going to leave that out. You can also affect how the master affects the slave through the curve. Uh, there are multiple types of curves that you can choose, uh, but for a simple flap elevator mix, we're going to use a constant curve, and, or not a constant curve, sorry, a standard curve, and we're going to leave it just like it is. Um, you can add delay in. If you've slowed down, slowed down the, uh, the activation of your flaps, uh, you would want to add delay for this mix equal to the same amount of delay you've added to the servo so that everything moved nice and smoothly together. Uh, otherwise, there's not much else in the mixes advanced menu that you're going to need to worry about. So we'll go ahead and jump out of that. We're going to go ahead and click add and add our second mix. Now this mix is going to be from elevator to flap. And it's going to be a very small percentage mix. This is actually going to just give us a little bit of flap every time we pull elevator. Uh, that keeps us from popping on such a steep climb. It kind of raises the airplane altogether. Uh, this is something that I like to use in pure sailplanes. And I play around a little bit with in our electric sailplanes. Again, there's nothing that we're going to change in our advanced menu. So we're, we're going to go ahead and skip that. Uh, once you've selected the value, you're done with the mix. You can just go ahead and click the escape and the mix is set. Those are all of the basic things you're going to need to set up for your full house sailplane. If there's anything that you have a hard time setting up or anything else that you would like to see, don't hesitate to reach out and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.